Hello. Make sure my camera and everything is set the way it should. Standing up, writing down a tad. Yep. It's Monday. You know what that means. You get to see me again. Yes, it's Monday, um, September 24th. September 24th. That means that next Monday will be October, which is crazy. So next Monday is October. <clears throat> that is, that's just crazy to me. There you go. Anyway, September 24th, 2018. We only have a couple months left of this year, three months left after this week, which again, just blows my mind. So I wrote down a couple things to mention before we get started this evening. Um, if you have, if you're joining now, that means you are probably getting the updates to be notified when I go live on the page, but if you are a new viewer, new follower, whatever, please go to your notifications and make sure you have clicked to be notified when I go live. I go live every Monday night, 5.30 Mountain Standard Time. So that's 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern. Right now that's the best time think that works kind of best with most um, it may change later who knows I'm only a year and a half into this thing <laughs> also um, you can go over to YouTube any prior videos are on YouTube they're also on the videos tab here on the page on the Facebook page um, hello to you guys that are joining me um I am thinking ahead to the next few months and the Facebook Lives and try to decide what to do. And I've kind of got an idea, kind of got an idea of Facebook Lives to do through the end of February. If you knew my head, you'd understand. I'm that cuckoo crazy when it comes to organization and planning ahead that um, <laughs> I'm not even satisfied with February, like I need more. Anyway, um, <laughs> if you have any ideas for Facebook Lives or things that I should do, any kind of tutorials, things for kids, um, recipes, crafts, what are you looking for, please let me know. Give me some ideas. Because while I have a lot of Facebook Lives planned, um, I'm not completely sold on a bunch of them. Yeah. No, Manny does not procrastinate. There are very few times that Manny procrastinates. So, um, in fact, I was going to give you guys just a little tiny behind the scenes because in the, um, I will probably tomorrow go and um, upload or post, I guess, all the events that I have for November, probably December, maybe January, that's pushing it. But um, I will go ahead and definitely post um, November's events, November's Facebook Live to November, and possibly December. I should check, but I'm pretty sure I'll do November, December. I want to show you guys a little behind the scenes before I go on tonight. This is how cuckoo crazy my head is. So, this is a planner that I have for September this month. And what I love about this planner is it goes for two years. So, I just bought it and it started in June of 2018. And guess what? It goes until December, the end. Well, I thought it went longer than that. Okay, it went for a year and a half. Okay, it goes to the end of December 2019. Either way, though, I don't know if you notice, I got right, there's November, there's December. I got stuff written down. 
um, January, February. I have a couple things marked for March, whatever. So I'm thinking ahead to what I want to do in the future. So this is kind of what I live by, post ideas, Facebook Live ideas and everything. This is a binder. I'm also in love with this. It is binder with attached, um, you can't pull them out. Folders, and I want to say there's like 13 pockets or whatever, so I've got like, um, like affiliates, branding, all that kind of information there. Crafting, home organization, cooking, recipes, children, health and body, holidays, random favorite products, martinis, all of that thrown in there. I still have a couple of folders to grow, but this thing is brilliant. Love it. I will post a link later and share that with you guys because if you have a ton of stuff that you guys organize, guess what? It's awesome. And then this is a work in progress. This is something that I keep actually putting off and putting off and putting off. This is all my ideas. I've made a billion and one notes of ideas, monthly questions, Facebook Live ideas, Post ideas, yeah. This is a work in progress. So here's all of my like, handwritten notes and stuff. And then here is a folder that actually has nothing in it at the moment. But, um, and that is not including the stuff that I printed off today and I have not grabbed off the printer. Anyway though, I have a billion ideas, but it's not about me. I want to do what you guys want to see. I want to do what you guys want to know. So, send me your ideas. Send me your pins on Pinterest. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. What you want to see me try. If you see a pin on Pinterest that um, looks like something we could do on a Monday night, send it my way. We'll try it. Y'all know, it don't always work. That makes it more fun. So. There you go. All right, so tonight's martini um, is the Italian apple. I've not tried this one before. We will see how it goes. The Italian apple is, um, well, I mean, first day of fall, of course, was Saturday. For some reason, I was led to believe that it was on Sunday, but I went back and looked, and it was Saturday. Anyway, the Italian apple, you need amaretto, you need vanilla vodka, you need sour apple schnapps, schnapps, and cranberry juice and lime juice, but you only need a tiny little bit of those. All right, so for amaretto, you only need three fourths. Okay. Got a little excited there. Yep, three fourths part. Um, Amaretto. Got a little crazy. You only need three fourths part vanilla vodka. Go slower this time. <laughs> you only need 1.5 parts sour apple schnapps speaking of schnapps and why i love schnapps so much is big bang theory comes back this evening i think they have a new episode tonight and on thursday so um if you are a fan of big bang theory you all understand why i love the word schnapps so much hi rosemary so um there you go Three-fourths part amaretto, three-fourths part vanilla vodka, 1.5 part sour apple schnapps, and a splash of cranberry, and a splash of lime. Okay, I don't know. You know, that's my biggest issue with a lot of these drinks is I, um, how much is a splash? Because a splash in my mind is not necessarily the same as a splash in your mind. So, um, I'm curious, 
I guess I should look that up. That's probably something you can find on Google, on the Googles, on the interwebs. Um, it's probably like a point twenty-five. It's probably some like percentage to um, what a splash is. Either way, though, I'm probably adding too much. So the Italian apple martini. Okay, fills it up to the right amount. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's my big kind of like my hands gonna be all sticky now after spilling that stuff. Amaretto. And I'm gonna probably start talking all loopy here in a minute for taking that little shot or whatever. It's pretty good. I'll go on. Pretty good. Not a favorite. Less sour apple, I think. More vanilla vodka. But again, it's probably because of the way I mix it. I um, probably added too much. Either way, here we go. All right. So, like I said, Saturday was the first day of fall. Everybody's thinking apples and pumpkins and this fall desserts. Temps getting cooler. Season's changing your mindset of what kind of desserts you make changes. So tonight we're making a trifle, which is a layered dessert. I love layered desserts. It's, you're combining a ton of stuff in a layer and you get it all in one, you know, scoop, one, all in one, you know, serving. So tonight is a caramel apple trifle. And I did make something similar to this last year, but, um, I think this one will actually be better. Um, this one is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I've already pre-made everything that way so I didn't have to wait for anything now. Um, a box of cake mix. Go ahead and make your cake mix any way you want. The recipe that I read suggests spice cake. We went to Walmart on Saturday. Our Walmart is horrible. They were sold out. All they had was yellow and white cake. So I just grabbed a box of yellow cake. Now you don't even have to get cake mix if you don't if you want. You can grab a pre-made cake, plain cake, in the um bakery if you want. So that's how simple it is. Any cake mix or buy a pre-made cake. It's that simple. Okay, right, so cake mix. If you buy a um, cake mix, go ahead and make it. You need a um, large size pack of vanilla instant pudding. Go ahead and make that. I've already made it. Um, you need a large Cool Whip or two smalls. You just need a lot of Cool Whip. Um, a jar of caramel topping and two cans of apple pie filling. So let me go over that again. One box of cake mix or a store-bought cake. One large Cool Whip or two Smalls or a lot of Cool Whip. One large vanilla instant pudding. Go ahead and make it and chill. One jar of caramel topping and two cans of apple pie filling. That's it. So I've got all my stuff laid out here and ready. I um. Now here's the order that, if I can remember, okay, I got it written down. So first thing you want to do, of course, get you a nice bowl. Believe it or not, this one, Walmart, guess what, like six bucks, little trifle bowl. I don't think this is like a real trifle bowl, but guess what? You'll want something that has a small bottom and increases slightly to the top. If you get something that's really large and stays large, you're gonna need a whole lot more ingredients. So, there you go. What we're gonna do is you are just gonna get your cake and crumble. My cake is a lot more moist than I thought it would be. You're gonna get some cake and, and my hands feel gross. Like I said, I do not have any kind of like OCD-ness or whatever, but um, there's some textures that I do not like under my fingernails. And I guess cake's one of those. 
All right, so you got your cake. Then you are going to wipe yourself on the back of your pants. Take some car caramel drizzle. Drizzle it on the top of that cake. And it's going to go as slow as molasses because that's what caramel does. And you, this is one of those, again, there's no like specific amounts. So don't stress it. Caramel drizzle. And you are going to take half or a good bit of your um, vanilla pudding. Of course, if you are going to like a potluck or something, you're going to want to make sure this is like, you do it a little bit better than me just throwing it in here like I am. I do it kind of quickly here. I'm not Martha Stewart, y'all. I don't ever even pretend to be because um, I'm in training, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay, so you got cake, caramel drizzle, vanilla pudding, one can of apple pie filling, and it's... Does not sound very nice coming out. Hmm. Right, so spread that out amongst your across the top of your um, thing, and then a layer of this is something that you know if you made it ahead of time, you could easily you know have the kids do because all you're doing is stacking ingredients. It's all you're doing. And the thing is with trifles is just as long as it's layered, there's no really, you know, right or wrong. And I love a trifle. If anybody ever gets me anything for like my birthday or any kind of cakes or whatever, always get me like a layer dessert because, um, I love when you can like meld everything together. You've never made a trifle for me? Have you ever made um, the chocolate lasagna that went around years and years and years ago? That's pretty much a trifle except in a long sheet pan. Or um, just think about any time you do like a bunch of layers. It's just depending on the vessel that I guess you put it in. So, um, typically trifle vessels are, you know, um, smaller, and that would say you have more layers. Either way, though, I'm pretty sure you've made one before, you just didn't, it wasn't called, um, trust, uh, it wasn't called a trifle. Okay, right, so I did all that, um, layer full up. Okay, now I'm going to put more cake on it. This poor cake is being Manda handled. Manda handled! Yep. And I guess I, sh I could like leave half of this cake and then like eat it with frosting tomorrow. <laughs> yep, I could totally do that. Yep. Yep, gotta get the cake from, from underneath my um, fingers because I am um, too, too crazy about some things. Okay, so we got the cake. What comes next? More caramel. Drizzle, and of course, as you, if you've got a um, trifle container that um, gets larger as you go up, you're going to need more of that ingredient. Just FYI. So, again, this is one of those that it doesn't really, um, there's no specifications on exact amount. I'm going to use this holding bottle because... Um, I can. Yep. And that's super sweet. Yep. That's super sweet. And y'all, I'm totally going to save that jar and remove the label and use it for something else later. Alright, so. Caramel drizzle. Vanilla pudding. And at this point, I'm using the rest of what I have. I'm going to spread that around. 
mais. This is when I guess I should be talking to entertain y'all while I'm doing something. Yep, just like that. And then after the pudding, one last can of apple pie. And I actually think that my um, container may be too small. It's okay though. It's okay. That's what's nice about trifle is you, trifle is you can completely, you know, work as you go. This is one of those like no bake recipes. So even if it doesn't like pan out the way it is, guess what? It's still gonna be good. And then um, finish with some Cool Whip. Oh, actually, I should have left some some drizzle. Oh, that one shot of like amaretto wasn't even a full shot. It was like a half shot. Just threw me for a loop, y'all. All right, so anyway, you're going to do that. You're going to spread out some Cool Whip. Your Cool Whip's going to be your top layer. Cover up. All the apple that you see underneath. It, again, it's not that deep, y'all. Don't stress it. Really, don't stress it. Because you see all those awesome layers? That's all people are going to see and they're going to love. That's awesome. And then, if I can squeeze anything out here, you are supposed to take whatever... Um, and that's coming out like dang Christmas. You're supposed to drizzle whatever. Um, I guess I should have left some caramel syrup to go across the top. Either way though, guess what? You're done. That's all you need. Put some caramel drizzle across the top. And um, you're gonna look all fancy and special. There you go. There you go. Just like that. No, never. Just traditional cakes. Well, I mean, technically, this is a traditional cake. You're just layering it up. That's it. So take whatever cake you got, layer it with some Cool Whip, and. So imagine like if you wanted to do like a chocolate cake trifle, you could do um, a chocolate cake layer, like um, some cherry pie filling, some, I would add a little bit of cocoa powder to some um, Cool Whip, layer that, and just keep layering and layering, maybe some chocolate drizzle, whatever. Seriously, think about your what whatever your goal is, and um, you can probably easily try. It's pretty much the same recipe for any um, flavor you're looking for. So if you're looking for like a Halloween theme, you can very easily find a. You could add some orange food coloring to your cake mixture to have an orange cake. Whatever. Travels are like the go-to and no bake, easy to throw together, whip it up ahead of time, throw it in the fridge for any event, potluck, whatever. It's no time. If you keep a lot of these um, ingredients on hand, then it's not something that you have to go by at the last minute. So, um, this is one of those things that you know. It's just good. No, but I mean, I've never, ever, ever made a trifle that somebody disliked. They've always been winners. 
Yes, perfect for Halloween. And the thing is, for Halloween, you could easily, um, if you wanted to, um, do like a, if you get a white, do a white cake. And then do like orange food coloring. And then purple food coloring. And like layer it that way. See? And a lot of times all it is, again, is cake, pudding, Cool Whip. Cake, pudding, Cool Whip. You can add extras in there. You can add pie toppings. You can add syrups. You can add nuts. Cookies, that's what the chocolate lasagna is. It's, it's a cake, it's a um, Oreo cookies, it's cream cheese and Cool Whip combined. So seriously, easiest dessert ever. There you go. So, okay, there is our caramel apple trifle. All right. So, before I end for the e this evening, I want to mention a couple things. My birthday, again, falls on Monday. At least I think it does. Well, I looked earlier this, uh, this month. I think I recall it fell on a Monday. Either way, though, um, again, I want to do something fun for my birthday. Want to make a fun Facebook live. So if you have any ideas for what I could do for that evening, I'd appreciate your input. Send me your ideas for what to do that evening. If I should do any kind of giveaways, what kind of products or items do you want to see? This last week, I did join a few affiliate programs. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I did join a few affiliate programs. I have access to a ton more, but let me know what kind of products and items you guys are looking for and give me some ideas for some giveaways and maybe for my birthday evening, I will do some giveaways for some free products or at least some coupon codes or something. And um, again, Restating from the beginning, yes, Rosemary, I, I, I do think it's Monday. I um, I got so many dates like running through my head. I do think that it is a Monday night. I think you're right. Um, send me your pins on Pinterest. Send me your ideas. Help me plan out the next few months. Um, if you have not yet liked me on Pinterest, then what are you waiting for? Because... I need your help. Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You can find Martinis and Man on all those. All those. This next year, I'm going to try and move this whole blog thing forward. We'll see what happens. When you're learning this whole tech thing by yourself and you don't have any like mentors or whatever, your brain gets pulled like 50 billion ways and I... Trying to figure it all out. So, yeah. There we go. Okay, so next week, next week, y'all will be amazed because I found the most simplest way to make a wreath. You will be shocked at how easy this wreath is to make, and it's using a couple items that you won't believe and I bet you already have on hand um, you only need three to four items to make this wreath you probably already have the items in your house right now and you, you can make this wreath and put it up on your door right now it'll only take you like 10 minutes at the most to make so next Monday night we're making a quick and simple fall wreath front door decor, hashtag, <laughs> and the um, martini of the evening is the buttered toffee, buttered toffee martini, yep, that's it, so thank you guys so much for joining me this Monday evening, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next Monday, hope you will be there, until then, love y'all, see you then, bye.